guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Tara Creel, I do videos on lifestyle, wellness, veganism, minimalism, all the things, all the things. Um, but I wanted to film a follow-up video for you guys. About two weeks ago, I filmed a video telling you guys something that I've been struggling with, with my health. Like, it wasn't just anymore that I was tired. I actually couldn't function doing regular day-to-day -day things. Getting my daughter dressed for dance class became such a chore. Because so that was two weeks ago. This is today, and I am feeling a million times better, and I'm so thrilled to say that. I'm, oh God, you, I feel like I can breathe. Like, now that I'm telling you guys, it's kind of like, Guys, I felt awful. I'm not gonna go into it because I already went into all that in the video, which I will link down below. I got test results back from stuff, and I thought I would discuss it today because it does involve veganism, and I want to put it out there so that if anybody else has watched my videos and decided to make the switch, that you kind of know maybe what to look forward to, what to avoid. Let me just let me just jump right into it and tell you guys what was going on. First of all, I didn't really, I never really came out and told you guys what was going on in this area because I just, I wanted to keep it kind of private until I knew, you know, exactly what it was. Um, I thought it was nothing, but people started to kind of freak out and worry and that got to my head a little bit and I, did, I just didn't want to put negativity or just falseness out into the U space, so U space, never said that before. Um, but yeah, so with the the breast thing, I started having tenderness and I started having pain in a specific spot. I went to my primary care doctor. She felt something that was abnormal, but not like anything concerning. But just because it was paired with the fatigue and the brain fog and all that kind of stuff, and just to ease my mind a little bit we decided to send me off to a breast and imaging center, so like a specialist for that. And I ended up going in, I had an ultrasound, the ultrasound came back abnormal. They found um, clump, they found a big clump in my right breast. And um, you know, I just kinda told myself it was a cyst, it was a cyst, but the doctor wasn't sure if that's what it was. So because he was unsure, because it didn't look normal in the ultrasound, he decided to set me up with a mammogram to confirm that that's what it was. So, um, so I had a mammogram and then the following week I had a biopsy done, which by the way is really intrusive. If you've ever had a biopsy in the breast, you know. It's like they're shoving things in there. It is crazy. But while they were doing that, they found another abnormal spot. It's so long story short, it basically just ended up being, I don't know the correct term for it, but some kind of cyst. There's nothing you can do about it, so it is like tender. It's not, I don't want to say it's painful, it's just uncomfortable. But there is no like, no breast cancer, nothing serious. So that was a major weight off of my shoulders. So that was clear, and then we moved on to discussing blood work. I. Okay, let me just tell you guys this. All of my blood work has actually improved. I had my blood work done, ugh, it was like nine months ago, I think the doctor said it was, nine months ago. And on the paper, my doctor shows my blood work from nine months ago compared to my blood work now. And going vegan, my blood work has improved. Everything has gotten better. Some things have gotten better exponentially. Some things have just like slightly gotten better. But overall, going vegan, doing a plant-based diet, changing my diet in that sense has impacted my body in a positive way, which I am so happy to hear because when I started feeling bad, people started telling me horror stories and you know, people were telling me that I was killing myself because I wasn't giving my body what it needed and it didn't make sense to me because I didn't change my diet that drastically. But where I was deficient, and now it makes so much sense. I don't know why I didn't think about this. Um, where I was deficient and what was actually causing all of the symptoms I was having, the brain fog, the fatigue, just everything. I was feeling awful. It was because I was severely B12 deficient. Duh. 
Um, <laughs> Pretty much all vegans have to supplement with B12. B12 is, is most found in meat. It comes in other forms, but it's just not as easily absorbed. So it's not uncommon for a vegan to have to have a B12 supplement. Actually, it's it's really, 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 really common. It's kind of the norm. So when I say I am severely B12 deficient, the range says that a normal, a reference range, reference range, is from 200 to 1100 pg slash mls so my levels were sitting at 212 meaning i was only 12 points above the lowest number in the range so basically my body was creating enough b12 naturally for survival just to keep my body going because b12 is it pretty much b12 plays a part in almost everything it plays a part in brain function it plays a part in nerve function it plays a part in energy and just fatigue and how you're feeling so my body was begging it was it was basically like failing which still is amazing to me that all of my other blood work got better whenever this one thing was basically wiping me out it was awful like it was to the point my husband went to my doctor's appointments because he was co so concerned about my health guys I'm, this is how severe it is I'm t it was bad it was really really bad um so now the doctor put me on a daily b12 supplement you can take it weekly you can take it daily or you could do the shots i just got the liquid under the tongue supplement because she told me that that is pretty much just as efficient as a as eating meat um, because it you know it quickly enters the bloodstream whereas taking a pill it kind of breaks down as it goes down through you know your body and into your stomach um, and the shot I can do the shots I just I haven't because I'm taking the liquid and it has worked phenomenally so I've been on the liquid for about a week and a half and I am totally back to normal <laughs> in fact I'm better than normal also I was a tiny 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 bit deficient in vitamin D which I don't know how yes I'm really pale but I'm in the sun all the time um, but it says the optimal range for vitamin D is greater or equal to 30 ng slash ml and my vitamin D status was 25 so I was kind of like I'm in the insufficient range but it wasn't severe I'm not like severe severely deficient so I did get a vitamin D pill as well to take that I could have just said this diet is killing me this diet's not working for me I need to go back to incorporating and I almost did by the way I almost was gonna force myself to eat meat or to eat fish once a month or once a week just to see how I would feel and I never would have known if I hadn't taken the time and the money to go and look into it so I just want to let you guys know that that is what's going on. So again, if you are somebody that made the switch, you kind of know how to avoid it or what to expect. It's something you can keep an eye on and speak to your doctor about it. Um, and that's really it. I'm just here to tell you guys that I'm doing phenomenal. I feel so much better and I'm so thankful for all of your kind messages and comments and you have just been lovely and opened my eyes to so many different things to watch out for and to keep in mind and I'm just so grateful. So one of these days I'm going to learn my lesson and get a new memory card because it only holds 11 minutes of footage and I never get a video under that. So camera cut off. We're back to it. I was saying ending the video, I promise. I am looking at one, two, three, four, five, six videos that I'm going to be filming because I'm just, I'm ready to get back into it. And I'm taking off the pressure of doing high quality. I still have, you know, some of those that I want to do, but I'm just going to like be me, share with you guys what you want to know and go from there and really just have fun with it and take all the pressure off. So be on the lookout for that. And I guess that is the end of this video. So until next one until the next one i will see you guys later bye